Okay, today we're going to build some winglets based on the design by Nick and James and uh, Nate um, of Flight Club. And um, I'm just going to show you how I do it. I use Coraplast because uh, it's nice and sturdy. Helps when we get into some mid airs and crashes the way we do. And I'm going to show you how I make the fold so they can look super cool while they're getting chased like that. And it also seems to be effective in reducing tip stalls and allowing for slower speed flight, which is our goal. But I really got a shout out to Nick and James and Nate uh, with Flight Club for showing me um, the general design. So you make a template for how you want your winglet uh, what your size you want it to be. This I made for the wingtip on our manatee. And really, I'm just doing some trial and error with different sizes in terms of total surface area and and whatnot to see how big is too big and how small is too small and whatnot for the various kind of flying we want to do. But so I've cut, cut two of these out. Um, and now I'm going to make a single, a single cut for a fold to fold it. And to do that, I just cut through one half of the uh, coroplast and then make a fold and I'm going to sh shove some foam in there and to hold the angle. There we go. Now we can make a fold like that. But we need something to keep it. So that's what I use a little bit of foam for. This is leftover EPP from some wing cutting. So I'm going to cut a strip about the length of my uh, winglet, which is about 10 inches. Um, let's see, it does not need to be exact. And I want it to be um, a wedge, to wedge in there. Um, and this tends to take a little, little experimenting to see kind of how much foam is too much. You want enough to keep the angle and not enough to overdo it. <clears throat> so I didn't make it quite thin enough there. I'm going to try it again. This is a bending template. So that's helping me keep that same angle for both. And the angles for these guys, again, came from um, I think James's calculations. Okay, so I'm going to trim off the excess foam. Myself or the chloroplast. Perfect. Okay. Good packing tape. I use the Scotch Heavy Duty. We don't need a full thickness. We don't need the full two inches or whatever this is. So 
I tend to just cut it in half, or maybe even just a third. Start by putting it on one side, putting it down with no wrinkles, and then you push this down onto our template here. You can make a template out of a two by four you rip to the right angle. There you go. See how the tape holds the angle from getting pushed open and the foam keeps it from getting closed. Uh, yeah, closed. And before I get too far, I make sure they look even. And that looks pretty darn even. And so then I finish up trimming. And there you have it a folded winglet. One more thing, we need to cover up these flutes because that creates a lot of drag. So for that, I just use some colored packing tape. I use this tape because it's even lighter than the heavy duty stuff. And you don't really need anything heavy duty just to cover that up. And the whole point of doing this with foam is to keep the winglet as light as possible rather than using say hot glue or, or Gorilla Glue or some other kind of material to keep the bet, uh, fold in place. This seems to be the lightest, strongest um, technique I've discovered. But if you all think of anything better, please let me know. I'm always wanting to try a different thing, a way to get our planes lighter, stronger, slower. And I don't need the whole thickness of this thing. I'm just going to cut it. Shoot, that wasn't very straight. Let me try that again. I'm going to put it on there nice and straight. You don't want too much tension because you don't want to bend the chloroplast. so we don't have all that drag. And the front will get covered up when I attach it to the wing because I put a little piece of tape over that. And I do the other side. get beaten up every fight, but at least they start out looking cool. Now I think we're done.